Hi there. This afternoon while I was in my office, I, I just finished speaking to a young lady that um, has been going through some times, trialing times. And when I finished talking to her, it was as if Holy Spirit told me just to get to the river and to, to speak about this. And I'm going to be obedient to Holy Spirit and the request that I have in my heart. And that is that we need to seriously, seriously pray for our children at all ages, doesn't matter how old our children are. And I know we are praying, and many of us are interceding constantly for for our children. But this is a very serious call that I have, um, that we need to pray for our children. Um, if us as adults, we we don't understand what, what's going on, and we've got all these theories and plans and all these things, and, and we're actually talking about it in, in front of the children and... And we don't really understand the amount of fear that these kids are getting into their lives because of what we're saying in front of them. And and I'm not saying you are. I'm, I'm saying overall, overall we've got this where, where people are just talking and, and giving their heart and, and saying what they want to say in front of children. And I think Abba Father's heart is going out tonight in this that we would please, please, please... <laughs> Really, please, from Abba's Father's heart, think before we speak anything with regards to what we're going through in our country at the moment. It doesn't matter what it is, but that we will start being more considerate and being more sensitive towards what we are saying in front of children. And that we will start proclaiming that when we hear people do this, so that we can get our children covered in our love and that they will have hope again because it seems like hope is just gone and everybody is getting more and more negative with every level that is happening and if it's happening and if it's not happening or whatever. In the end, our children are our responsibility and it is our responsibility to keep our children with hope and peace and pray for them and not under fear and not put our children under fear because of the fear that has been blasted in our minds the whole time by everything that is happening. So this is just a short session and, and it's especially also for, for the ladies in the Anchored in um, Life Ministry or all of us that are involved with the Anchored in Life Ministry as well with the Inner Room Camps um, social media group that we've got. Please ladies, let's pray for the children of our country. In actual fact, for the children of the world. You know, Jesus says that it is them that is important suffer not the children but bring unto me for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and if we are putting fear on the children and they're hearing fear or whatever even with the movies that they're watching in this in this time period or you know what I'm talking about then then it's time to say sorry and it's time that we we bring our children back to hope um, before they crash they are a generation they are the ones to come and what we do now echoes in eternity. And it's up to us to make the difference in their lives. And I ask Abba Father, please, that, that you would humbly, that you would hear our humble prayer today and that, that you would hear our hearts, Father. And we just want to say sorry where we, we've said things and posted things and not even thinking of, of what we were doing at that point of time. And that you would forgive us, Father God, please. We really ask this humbly. And the Holy Spirit, that you would teach us to be like you, to, to be able to, to teach our children hope and to be anchored in Jesus, no matter what the situation is, because otherwise we sink as in the devil. And Jesus, that, that we can teach them to come and sit by your feet and to hear your word. And thank you, Jesus, that we can just come to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that, that you could give us the boldness to come out and say, we're standing for our children today in prayer and supplication. And that we would love our children even more than what we do and give them more hope than what we have in this time. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Stay safe and stay anchored.